Albion confirms that the explosions seen in the skies over London were indeed an Albion drone project that was sabotaged by the DedSec insurgency. In an exclusive interview with GBB Radio 1, Albion founder and CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. Truth is, the supposed freedom fighters of DedSec have made London less free. That drone project was meant to replace Albion boots on the ground, let the city get back to normal, but now, I can't in good conscience stand my people down. That's not how I leave. Cass went on to implore listeners to treat any suspected dead sec operatives as terrorists and to immediately report them to Albion. Fucking pagan. One hit against his all-powerful military and now he's whinging like a little baby. Classic bully tactics. And it's working. Sorry, that was too cheerful. Sadly, it's working. Too sad? It's what he does. Scares the shit out of people, then swoops in and plays the hero. We've got to show them what he really is. So that's his weakness, his image. If we shatter that, he falls apart. We had some thoughts about that, mate. Bagsy, bring it up, yeah? This is Claire Waters, political dissident and podcaster, reported missing after teasing a salacious upcoming episode. Sadly, it never aired. So all we have is this. On the next episode of Buccaneer Radio, I'm chatting with someone from deep inside Nigel Cass's inner circle. He's promised me something that will expose Cass as the tyrant I know he is. This is going to blow the roof right off White Tower. See you next week, pirates. Nigel would spun that interview if it was spinnable. If he went off the waters for it, that tape's a smoking gun. We've got to have it. Claire was known to broadcast out of Freight One. You should begin searching there. Claire Waters appears to be an equal opportunity muckslinger. Albion is her target of choice, but she's railed against tech genius Sky Larson, SIRS, and Van Kelly. Opinionated, isn't she? If DedSec had her back, imagine the kind of shit she could stir. She's been digging in Cass's shit for a while. If what she has isn't enough to squeeze his bollocks in a vice, then maybe she'll join you lot to help find something. Claire used to broadcast from somewhere around here. That's all I've got, I'm afraid. Bloody analog technology. Yeah, was way too easy to find. We gotta leg it or else the wrong heads will find her too. Hey buddy, welcome back to Watch Dogs Legions. Truly I'm grateful for all the views and subscribers, truly in. So let's get right on to it. We're looking for a vlogger. A blogger, vlogger, whatever you wanna call. Oh, what's this? This looks weird. Oh, it's paint. It looks really weird. They already got to her. We could have really used someone like her. I'd love to listen to you moan all day, but perhaps oh. investigating her murder would be a better use of our time. You said it, Bags. We'll make those dickheads pay and honor Claire. Let's have a look. A lot of heads been through here. Several individuals. Boots rather than shoes. One with a tread unique to a certain paramilitary supplier. I think it's from their autumn collection. Hold on, they supply Albion, yeah? Hmm. Check out the graffiti, though. What's the deal? 
Claire did release several podcasts critical of Clan Kelly, which you'd think they'd be used to by now. They're a criminal gang. They shouldn't expect flowers and thank you notes. Nah, there's something Clan boo Kelly. Kelly. Kelly this again? don't seem like them. Huh. I, didn't I take care of Clan Kelly? The dicks that killed Claire took her gear but left this tablet behind. Bags, can you scan it? Tablet unlocked. Claire seemed to have logged conversations on it. Okay. Oh, okay. okay, you've agreed to speak on the record. You are an intelligence technician at Albion and work closely with Nigel Cass, correct, Mr... Just you. I can't believe I'm doing this. If they were to find out. I know. Only have to step outside to see how Albion treats people. What do you have for us? Proof that... <laughs> Proof that Nigel Cass was complicit in the bombings. What? But that's... Here. Transfer it to this secure storage drive. How solid is this information? It's a recording of him talking to some... Insecurity from your weapons! You can't do this! Gather all our equipment and get it to the carousel. Go, no, take that wall. Then get rid of this body. She can stay here. <laughs> Gay vengeance is an horrible crime, ain't it? Fuck me! Cass sent a squad of his goons for Claire and that other bloke. That recording's got to be the real deal. Bastard knew about the bombings. Albion must have Claire's equipment then, along with the audio file evidence. This is it. This is what we need to take down Cass. Bastard has to pay for what he's done. Claire, the whistleblower, all of it. But the Albion gunner said something about Carousel. I think that means Carousel Plaza. That's Albion's propaganda library. Sounds like as good a place as any to start looking. I can't jump this. It sucks. Hmm. Heck. Oh, this is the camera. I'm thinking this was the drone. Where's a cargo drone at? You found Claire's equipment, including her secure storage drive, which shockingly appears not to have been tampered with. So yep. the audio evidence is probably still intact. But where's the cargo? Ah, there it is. I need that. the cargo. Oh, do you mind coming to me? Uh, where am I at? This way over here? Nope, about out of signal. Shit. Okay, where am I? Aiden at. Aiden up oh, there. He is. Aiden's right there. Come. Well, I'm not over there yet, so calm down. Hey, hey, hey! Kiss your tech goodbye. Sub that. Hey. 
case I get arrested. In case I get arrested. You son of a bitch. And now you're useless. Good, right? You're so good. You're just a little damage. Hmm. Is that chap right there too? No. Arm trap. Arm trap. Thank you. Come on, jump down, J Aiden. Oh, Emma. I'll take this. So is that. So I got the ammo, right? Is that a gun stuck in here? Yes, you are. Sorry, guys. Hang on. I got just my headset. being shot.
course, they're being shot at, so. That hurt. Got on my health real quick. No, you didn't. Them. Going in for a look. over here. Oh, not under one pursuit. Uh, my god. I wasn't paying attention to that. Well, I know you're listening. Let's talk. We told you the Prime Minister would turn you down. Brits love to see private military contractors on foreign streets. But not their own. He's a fool. This whole city, this whole thing. The country's collapsing. The military's held together with duct tape. At least I'm running scared. Someone has to save the people, Nigel. Someone strong. <sighs> I've already worked it out. The ideal targets are the Toan Conference, Parliament, and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tactics and logistics that you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable. It cannot trace back to me. You're forgetting something. And I'll get you access to filament as agreed. Now go away. Now Scarper or they'll kill you for sure. The suspect gave us a slip. Call it in. Yeah, I'll get out of here. I believe we got a door somewhere over here. Our gate. Somewhere over here. Has a voice that makes you want to snap his smug bollocks in a pencil case, doesn't he? And Zero Day knew just which strings to pull to get what they wanted, didn't they? Filament. And Cass was willing to trade it for the keys to the city. Fuck. Don't know, fam. I think I always thought there was a chance for him to. Fuck! To be the man you thought he was. Sorry, Hamish. If that man ever existed, he's gone now. We have to get this information out there. To the people. You're right. When you lot get the chance, come to Piccadilly Circus. Been working with bags on something. And this proof is just the token we need it. London, you've been lied to. Nigel Cass and his Albion peacekeepers intend to permanently control this city. The ideal targets are the Toan Conference, Parliament, and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tactics for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable. It cannot trace back to me. Nigel Cass collaborated with a terrorist to bomb this city. Then, he set up an orbital drone program called Themis that will target you based on your stolen data. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, Jeopardize Themis. I've given you the truth. Do as you will. Actually, fuck that. Resist. Not bad, not bad if I do say so, innit? Hey, Hamish. Haha. <laughs> Thought you weren't risking your pretty face. Yeah, well, can't lock myself away from the world forever. Got a lot to make up for, don't I? Besides, you sorry lot need all the help you can get. Check it. Yeah, the whole of Albion won't just disappear. Sent that to every news outlet I could think of. They're gonna have it on the loop for a while. And when the people tweet to what it means,
task is done. He'll be removed, prosecuted for high treason. They'll have no choice. We've done it. Congratulations, team. What's next? That can't be all you brought me on for. There is still the matter of Zero Day. You know, the rogue hacker group that conspired with Cass and Mary Kelly to blow up London. Jesus, Backley, all work and no play. Give the squad a second or two to bask in our victory. Safe to say it won't last long. I doubt this is the reaction you were expecting, but Nigel Cass is in the news again. The government has convened to review its contract with Albion. Nigel Cass himself has responded to requests that he should surrender to the authorities in a heated call with the GBB. Just shut up and listen to me. I will not be removed by the government or anyone else. I will die first. And many will die with me. They're calling for blood. They'll have it. This city belongs to me. I am its shepherd and I will slaughter my flock before I relinquish it. Cass has barricaded himself in his White Tower headquarters and threatened to kill anyone that tries to stop him. He is heavily armed and considered extremely dangerous. Shit. He's gone off the deep end. He's liable to take it to the streets in his state. We have no choice. We have to get to White Tower and stop him. Mate, Nigel's got a private bunker under this place where he like to tweak his toys. I'll bet he's barricaded himself down here. Won't be anyone but the true believers around the compound. No time like the present. Luckily, his reinforcements are limited to whoever's fattened about nearby. Okay. Yeah, so let's uh, fuck his rod up. No, up. Yo! Come on! Nope, nope, nope! Nope! That paid, huh? Dark! No, 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 no! That hurts you, huh? Care for the janitor, a guy can get in my way. Sorry, buddy. Oh, you could be someone that might. Oh. Speaking of traps. Yeah, like I said, speaking of traps. You know what your problem is, Nigel. You talk too much. What are we up here? Listen here. I'm going to tell you something. And it's between you and me. Completely off the record, yeah? The whole thing's quite disturbing to me. They've got good reason to close off parts of the building, but at the end of the day, it's a lot of bollocks. This place is a treasured part of London's history. Men and women it's of Albion, going through oh, and the, the, the citizens of London have an past. obligation to it. You can't keep people out. Well, they must visit it, breathe in its very essence, so that they too can become... Come on. Destroy the one oh, again, this is all between you and me, ah. mate. Come on, Go on, big guy. They're saving their own skin. I found the answer to our problem and I will not stop until this morning. Come on, big guy. Are you sure that's what you want to come into? Do you want to test my resolve? Well then, come try. 
back off. I told you to back off. Take that out. So this could be a real pain in the ass. Oh, hi. Hi. Yeah. You dummy, you just... Wow. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Stop it. Damn thing. I didn't realize I was at low on ammo. You do that. That way, either. Huh. Turrets, damn it. Damn, damn turrets. Huh. Oh. Oh, I was trying to disable that. Shoot. Get me some reinforcements. That was bad. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. 